Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, and I have a beer that was sent to me by Hoobly's Beer Reviews, El Harlock, Lee. Uh, this is from Sea Level Brewing in Nova Scotia. This is a Summer Br Blonde Pilsner, which is 4.8% alcohol. And there you go for the bottle. Well, the can. Um, apparently, these guys have been around since 2007. They just started canning in the last uh, year, I do believe it was. Oh, is that when it was canned, or is that its best before? October is on the side of the can, everything else is smudged off. But sometime in October, be it when it was canned or drink by, I don't know. Let's try it, it's December right now. Okay, so what's this say? Oh, nothing really. There you go. It uh, looks the part. I mean, actually, it kind of doesn't. In all honesty, it's unfiltered. It looks more like a uh, a Keller beer. But uh, the colors, right? Straw colored, very straw yellow, beautiful bright white head. Ugh. You get to hear why I'll never do beer reviews during the day, because my wife is upstairs screaming peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Um, anyway. Hmm. Smells, uh, weird, to be honest. Did it turn? Hmm. I don't think it did, but it may have. You kind of get that, uh, that grassy note that you get from most Pilsners. You kind of get that, uh, that grainy note you get from most Pilsners. And then the smell of somewhat like, uh, somewhat like, a perm, perm chemical. How do you know what perm My mother had a, uh, had a hair salon in the basement. My room was in the basement. I would fall asleep from wrestling practice and then wake up to the smell of perm chemical. It was beautiful. Cheers, let's try it. Okay. Grainy, bready, and a uh, caffeine pill-like bitterness. Uh, it's a lot more bitter than a lot of Pilsners out there. It's a, uh, and it's a different bitterness. Like uh, what I like about the Junction Bohemian Pills and the uh, Fires and Walker of Pivo Pills is that they're both hoppier than what most European Pilsners that are exported into Canada are, are. This one is hoppier than those two, but it just leaves that uh, that almost caffeine pill-like bitterness on the back of the throat, that uh, that uh, powdery bitterness from chewing into a caffeine pill instead of sw swallowing it. But it's nice and bready. It's grainy, it's bready. It has a little bit of that cut grass like scent, well, not scent, uh, taste. And then you get that uh, cl somewhat cloying bitterness. And I say cloying only because it sticks around. It's not cloying in that it's uh, overpowering or anything, it's just cloying in that it sticks around in the back of your throat. All in all, not a style that's for me. Not a beer that's for me. But I do enjoy it at the same time. I mean, I could sit back and enjoy a couple of these. I just, uh, like if Lee came down with a 12-pack of these cans, I'm sure me and him could sit back and we could destroy the 12-pack in an hour. That being said, is it something I'd want to go and buy? No, but I mean, most Pilsners aren't. I think the Junction Pills and the Pivo Pills are two of the only Pilsners I would actually uh, pay money for off the top of my head. Um, yeah, 6 out of 10 I'd give it. It's not a bad beer at all. I'm glad I got a chance to try it, but it's just not something that uh, really interests me in any way. Cheers, guys.